it was recently the uh, South African National Baseball Championships in the Western Cape here at uh, the A.B. Scher Stadium in Burisa. Provinces from, uh, or at least baseball teams from all around South Africa came to participate and we've had quite a few requests to show you some of the highlights one more time. Here you go. Yeah, look, uh, Gauteng uh, hosted a whole lot of the teams, a whole lot of different age groups. Uh, we had some teams up from Eden, um, from Eastern Cape, from Mandela Bay, uh, Limpopo. Uh, yeah, just just great to have them all back uh, back playing again on the diamonds. So. Yeah, we had from uh, under 12s, under 15s, under 18s, and then obviously under 23s filtered in with our senior senior divisions. So yeah, that started really from. In fact, under 10s, I, I lie. Um, under 10s played T ball as well, so it was also great. Well, now um, the selected team um, will now um, go and uh, represent the country. We gave, we got various uh, World Cups. Um, this year we've actually got a World Cup for every age group due to the COVID. Um, they've, they've condensed all the age groups into one year. So the under-12s will be going out, the under-15s will be going out, um, the under-18s will be going out to the States, the under-23s I think are going to Mexico, um, and then our senior side are going to the qualifiers as well. So every age group has got some hard work ahead of them. This year, they're going, to, they're going to go compete on the international stage. Very nice tournament. We thought we were going to have trouble, but everything ran very smoothly. And as one of the VPs for South African baseball, I'm very impressed and proud of the baseball we had here. And uh, yeah, we hope to get better. After two years of no baseball, the baseball wasn't as good as we expected, but it's getting much better. And we hope that in the next year, we'll have much more better baseball going for, for South Africa. Yeah, uh, very busy, uh, very exciting, a uh, lot of baseball, junior baseball, uh, women in baseball participating for the first time, and then uh, finishing off with all the senior uh, national baseball championship, all the teams that came down uh, to play here in Cape Town. Um, they've had a dose of uh, typical Cape Town weather, some really, really hot days, some windy days, a bit of rain in between, but I think baseball, I uh, was the winner in that uh, everybody got to play, we got through the tournament and yeah, very well done to the organisers, uh, tough job. Yes, uh, the uh, CTBF A side has been quite dominant within SA Baseball for a number of years now and uh, it, it was a very polished performance by a bunch of uh, very, very good baseball players. Uh, we, we're very privileged at this point in time in Cape Town to have the nucleus of the South African squad um, playing in our local system and uh, it, it shows, it shows. Uh, they've got a lot of experience, they've got a lot of ability. We've got depth in our pitching, depth in our hitting. Our fielding is, uh, is, is, is of the, uh, out of the top bracket. So a perfect all-round performance, a lot of runs scored. Yeah, without a doubt, you know, a lot of guys went out there to play hard and, you know, they wanted to be in the side, you know, they were quite excited for making a couple of new caps and all that. A couple of the old guys hanging around still wanting to be uh, in the province team. So, yeah, without a doubt, Oaks are happy to be here. You know, like, a credit to Gauteng, you know, without a doubt, uh, Gauteng obviously being in the finals, you know, they, they have guys that can uh, add value and they definitely have guys that I feel like they kept for towards the end of the tournament. Uh, but I must also give credit to our Western Province sides, you know, they also a strong bunch of guys that can, uh, you know, compete. So, you know, between the, the, the two province sides and the Gauteng A side, you know, it's, those were our tough uh, opponents. I think for the, next, uh, for the next month or so, I think guys are going to have to get into some kind of like a rehab, you know, guys with they have niggling uh, with some injuries and guys that are struggling with one or two things, they're going to have to try and sort that out as quickly as possible. And then I feel like in the next month or so, the, the squads will come out and then the squads are going to have to start training. I mean, there's uh, a lot of water that's going to have to pass under the bridge in the next couple of months. But, you know, for, for us, we're going, to have to, we're going to have to get going pretty soon. And then it's going to be um, uh, like almost like a full-time thing for us for the next four or five months.
I tell you what, it's been a literally a dream come true for us. We've uh, just trying to build baseball in the Eastern Cape. Um, I'm originally from Gauteng, Boxburg Cardinals, and uh, we just have a check behind me. You know, we had a group of guys. We've got, uh, I think, two or three 17 year olds, and uh, their first game time was uh, literally the first game of the tournament. And uh, look where we've ended up. Eh? So, for those good people who want to play baseball or think you can't play, just have a look behind me. Eh? We've, we've got very experienced guys. We've got uh, three, I think, three X Wing Box. So, yes, we, we're very grateful. And two Buertas, you, you guys have been a real stars, man. Yeah, we, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Eh? You know, our, our pitcher just won uh, for the B section, top pitcher. Um, and his first pick was to first base. Just to literally try and spread the word in the Eastern Cape, develop it. Uh, you know, just let's have fun, man. Get our kids away from the TVs, their cell phones, come to the fields. Doesn't matter if you can't play. Lots of training, um, clinics for the ladies to get them all on the same page and they do grading. So um, level ones and twos can come to junior tournaments. From level three to level five come to senior tournaments. We do grading exams at the tournaments and every region does their, their own clinics within the region um, to get everybody on the same page. Yeah, you got to wait for the scores, the, the sheets to come in to be balanced and then you enter, so you wait, wait, wait. It is a long day, but it's an enjoyable day. Um, probably uh, 20 ladies scoring and then Megan and I are doing the stats. Yeah. Yeah, for Western Cape, uh, we've taken uh, all the gold and yeah, so we're very excited. It was a very successful tournament. Months, months of preparation, sleepless nights, long hours, but it's all rewarding in the end. Uh, yeah, early mornings, uh, fixtures started at 8 o'clock in the morning, some fixtures. Uh, we've had a day that was rained out in the junior tournament. But that was all caught up and yeah, I've changed in the playoff play rounds, but it was all, the games was all played at the end. Uh, we've had the junior fields, we had about seven, seven fields, so yeah, it's about, each, each group or each field would have fielded about two to three games per day. Well, there you go. It's the that was of course the South African Baseball Championships held here in um, in Cape Town, a nine-day event uh, starting um, towards the end of March and carrying on through to the third of April, through to last week Sunday. A uh, fantastic event with um, teams from all over South Africa participating, um, and of course. Uh, Congratulations to Cape Town Baseball for doing so well. And then, of course, it was a really special day looking at the uh, All-Stars team that uh, was um, selected. And, of course, a lot of these uh, baseball players are now going to be playing in the various world uh, championships in 2022. Folks, we'll take a break when we come back. We'll carry on talking sport in the province. Back in a sec. <laughs> 